welcome to Janet being Janet. Okay, we're gonna go for a little bit of a stroll here. But uh, so I noticed something on Katie Joy's Instagram where her story's getting out there. She's reaching a lot of people and she may just hit it big time. So if y'all are interested in this, plus a little more, y'all stick around for me, okay? Okay, so the, everything in here is my opinion, my opinion alone, and we already know that, but I'm still going to say it every time. So um, I was on Instagram looking at Miss Katie Joy's stuff, and it just so happens that the 7 nil story that she's been putting out there is getting out there. It, it really is. But I want to do something just a little bit, so y'all... <laughs> you can grab your coffee grab your tea grab your hot cocoa grab whatever you want to this one may be a little bit long but uh anyways so i want to start this out because some people haven't seen it i want to start this out with the simple thing of just a little clip of what miranda's family had put out there for people to see so i want to start out with that and for a mother i just i haven't heard like she has not called me since January 18th, 2021. She has not actually called my phone to talk to me and to reach out to me. And so to think like, as a mom, I don't know if she's safe. I don't know if she's okay. I wanna just hug her. I just wanna know that she's, but I, even if she were to tell me I'm fine, everything's fine, I know it's not fine. Yeah. Because nobody goes from the person she was. Anybody that knows her knows the kind of person she was. And if you ever, ever asked what is the most important thing in life, she would say her family. So to cut everybody off, you have to go back and say, if you were willing to cut everybody off, if this is your decision, who altered your thinking for that to be something you would want? So guys, as you watch that, just being a mother myself and just being a human being that pulled at my heartstrings it really did now that's not the full video because let me tell you something let me tell you it says for the full video you got to go to the bio i don't know how to do that <laughs> i really don't so i'm not going to get on here and lie to you i'm just going to tell you the truth i don't know how to do that okay so i'm going to go ahead and read to you uh, something that they added on that was from Miranda and like I said guys y'all settle in because this may be a lot of reading and a lot of opinions so y'all just get ready for it so first of all this is from Miranda hey everyone first of all I want to address that I have communicated to my parents in the past year multiple times a year ago I decided to move out of, uh, of living with Melanie even after all of that <laughs> sorry i was still willing to work with melanie on our tiktok account and make things work on terms we both wanted i wanted to make a new life with james but i also wanted to continue working together with melanie then i was kicked out of the 3.1 million follower tiktok account that i originally started and had melanie join i asked if i could have access to it so that we could continue our tiktok account together and she refused to grant me access after constant back and forth over this topic, I finally let Melanie have full access over the account, so it forced me to start all over. To everyone who has reached out asking if I'm okay and involved in a religious cult, thank you so much for your concern, but I am not involved in a religious cult. And regarding the statement saying that none of us are speaking to our families, I can say that everyone in my man management group speaks and communicates with their families. It is just my unique situation where I am not speaking to my family as often as I used to because they were not supported, uh, supportive of the decision I made. There was a disagreement in my family where they didn't respect a decision that I made to move in with James and start our life together. Due to that disagreement, I haven't talked to my family as much as I used to, but I have communicated with them within the past year multiple times. I can speak for James and our families who are in 7M. They do 
that they do speak to their families. So what are you, uh, what you guys have learned about 7M dancers not speaking to their family, families is a complete lie. It is just a unique situation with my family where I don't speak to them as often as before because who would want to speak with people who completely disagree with you and you don't respect and who don't respect you. At the end of the day, James and I are grown adults who are expected to be married, excited to be married and live with one another. And when people are not on board with our decision, I guess they have belief that, I, I guess they just believe that they, what they believe and we agree to disagree and take and things take time to heal when i when i left they decided to call the uh, call the cops on james saying that our my black boyfriend james kidnapped and abused me the police officers ended up going to where james lived they tried calling james but he was on set for a job and actually could not answer his phone they then got a hold of me and wanted to meet me in person. I make sure um, uh, to make sure that I was not kidnapped or hurt in any way. I ended up meeting up with the police officers and they saw that I was fine. And we actually laughed about the situation because they said, wow, it seems that your family was really upset that you moved out. And I just uh, said, hey, it was a disagreement that we had and that's it. And everything is fine and the police left. I didn't want to go to my papa's funeral because I was afraid that I would be held captive in Michigan. I didn't feel safe with my dad. I went back for things at my old apartment by myself. It was my mom, dad, and I at the apartment. We talked and we tried. To, and they tried to get me to stay and not go with, live with James. And I already had made my decision. My decision was final. And then I got to a point where the conversation was just going in circles. So I wanted to get out of there. I got in my car and I was ready to back up and leave and they actually physically held me back and harassed me. My dad opened up the trunk of my car and grabbed my purse so that I wouldn't have my license to drive. I had to forcefully grab my purse back and try to shut the, tr the trunk of my car. I then got back in the driver's seat and my dad took my car and uh, took his car and blocked me in my own driveway and my mom was holding my arm speaking out to me and reading what a cult meant and said that I was part of one. I didn't want to speak about these uh, things because I honestly and because honestly it is embarrassing, but I am forced to talk about family issues publicly by my own family. So, um that right there guys it, it kind of makes you look both ways. It, it kind of does. Because Miranda putting her statement out there. And yes, we're going to get into even more. But Miranda putting her statement out there. It's kind of like, you know, just by reading her statement, her family was the one that was unhappy with her growing up and her wanting to be an adult and her wanting to make her own decisions. That, that's what it, it kind of seemed like to me. But, you know, everybody has their own opinion. Everybody's entitled to that opinion, whatever that opinion may be. And you may believe that 7M is a cult, and hey, if you want to, that's perfectly fine by me. If you don't believe that 7M is a cult, hey, that's perfectly fine by me. That's not what I'm on here for. That's not what I do whatsoever at all. That's not what I do. Oh, guys, by the way, I beat the sun up today. Yeah, yeah. I beat it up. I, not beat it up, like, you know, beat, beat it up. But I beat the sunrise. Yes, I did. I was up and I was at them. Yes, I was. Boom. I was. I was so proud of myself. I really, really was. That's why I get to take a little stroll out to the pasture. Alrighty, so, yep, yeah, y'all know me, sidetrack Annie. All right, so, uh, whenever I got onto Instagram and I was looking at uh, Instagram, Katie Joy's story has gotten out there and it has gone global. So, I want to read, just, uh, just, I wanna share. I read, share, and do all that good stuff, hold on. Okay, so, Katie Joy went ahead and shared with everybody that the Rolling Stone exposes 7M and Robert Shin. So now the Rolling Stone has picked this up. And guys, you, you, you know good old Katie Joy, she's gonna take all credit for it. Now, did I read any of these, any of these articles? No, I did not. I don't have time to read them and I don't care to read them. 100% honest with you. That's just the way it is. Okay, so she captions this, which she put so many screenshots of what they wanted, or you know, what they were saying, but, uh. 
she screenshotted the articles and I'm not gonna put that up there for you if you want to read the article y'all can go read the article 100% y'all can go read the article if y'all want to that, that's on y'all but I'm not gonna put all them screenshots up there all right so she captions this thank you at Rolling Stones for this thoughtful and well-researched piece on 7m thank you for humanizing these people behind this this piece thank you at Samantha Long and at Jim Jodas for reals for advocating for your friends and speaking out both of you have repeatedly put yourself out there knowing there will be backlash from the shins one day your friends will thank you for not giving up on them Joey said in this article quote when he saw the Wilkings video he says it remind, reminded him of the excuses he and others in the group used to make for not visiting their loved ones we would just tell them that we couldn't make it or we're practicing or we're really focused on what we're doing with dance he says at the time ah oh, you okay at the time he thought he was he was doing the right thing there was no such religion pushed on us we felt like we're doing what we're supposed to do because this is what god said he says quotation marks we were already groomed to have a certain mindset with family so when people would be like man that sounds like a cult we already been programmed to think yep we knew you guys would say something like that thank you to the unnamed choreographer who spoke out i know who you are and i know how worried you are your heart for the dancers is evident let's keep the momentum going to further than this out there so katie joy is going ahead and she is pushing her narrative about getting this story out there and she says that of course you know she's talked to people behind the scenes sorry it, it's muddy but of course she's talked to people behind the scenes because that's what katie joy does okay so katie joy had to share that one well then i was like okay so one person like i said i don't know if they included katie joy in all this so one person or one you know news place i don't know what to really call them to be honest with you but uh, th they shared it. So then, to my amazement, we go on to a part two of this. So this is the Daily Beast. And this is even talking about the TikTok dance crew being called the cult. Yeah, they're being called the cult. Like I said, guys, didn't read the article. Y'all, if y'all want to go read the article, y'all are more than welcome to. 100% y'all are more than welcome to, but I don't want to waste my time. I'm being honest with you. I just don't want to waste my time because... I feel like whatever they're gonna say is most likely something that Katie Joy's already said, and I'm kind of tired of hearing about it, to be honest with you. You know, you know, these are just my opinions, and these are only my opinions. Y'all ain't gotta agree with me, and if y'all don't want to agree with me in the comment section, heck, y'all go ahead. Y'all go ahead. That's perfectly fine by me. I don't mind whatsoever at all. Y'all know that by now. So, the Daily Beast. They decided to share the article. So of course, Katie Joy had something that she needed to say about the Daily Beast sharing, or you know, doing an article. Seven M story has made the Daily Beast. This article is the collection of a statement by Seven M, which says, quotation marks, Miranda Derrick is a successful businesswoman and a loving wife and daughter who cares very much about her family. The representative said, while the recent portrayals of Dr. Robert Shin and Seven M films have been wildly offensive and riddled with inaccuracy those false claims were will not deter 7m from supporting miranda in which endeavor she chooses to pursue next discussions about online information has been released about the situation lawsuits filed and concerns about the church overall it's a good write-up they did inaccurately report that Miranda has a partnership with Mac Cosmetics. Yesterday, Mac, Co Mac stated that they have no relationship with Miranda or 7M and have no plans in the future. There are always also warnings from the former member to stay away from the group because it will quote, quote unquote ruin your life. Uh, did y'all notice something? Miss Katie Joy had to make sure that she put it in there that uh, there was wrong reporting done. Yep, wrong reporting done. They didn't, they, you know, misdid something in their article. Katie Joy pointed it out. Cause you know, Katie Joy, just, she's gotta be the professional in all of this. She's gotta be the one that knows everything. And she's gotta be the one that gets the correct story out there. Okay, Th that just has to be Katie Joy. So I'm once again on Instagram and I'm like, okay, how much further can this go? 
Alrighty guys, it went to the Daily Mail. It did. It went to the Daily Mail. So she says 7M coverage goes global. It went global, guys. All right. So she kept this one short and sweet whenever she was talking about the Daily Mail. With persistence in coverage, the story is reaching the globe. Daily Mail has picked up the story. Let's keep going. Let's go. Fire, fire, fire. It's time for the world to know what's happening and to stop others from joining this group. <sighs> All righty. So y'all think that, 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 you know, Katie Joy is, you know, she, she's got her name out there, right? And if I'm not mistaken, like I said, they call me a horrible coverage person of Katie Joy. You can call me that if you want, but I didn't read the articles, like I said, and I don't plan on reading the dag blame articles because I'm not interested in reading the dag articles whatsoever at all. I barely got time to do what I do on here, so why am I gonna waste any more of my time? Okay, so I'm, I'm just, I, I periodically will check Instagram while I'm doing other things, and you know because i have friends on instagram and i like to see what they're doing too i you know it's not just about katie joy all righty so i'm doing my thing and uh i am like i said on instagram just kind of looking around and uh hold on all right guys sorry about that i got a little sidetracked it, it happens i get a little sidetracked but we're back now <laughs> I'm, I'm back all righty so Katie Joy shares, gotta keep pushing sunglasses up because I, I, I buy these to irritate my husband just in case you didn't know. And they, that, that's what I do. I buy my the biggest, most gaudiest sunglasses I can just to irritate my husband because I like it. Mm -hmm. Yep, it, it's the little things in life that makes me happy. It really, really is. Okay, so Katie Joy shares a post from the sun and I saw that and I went, oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, yeah. Y'all remember when Katie Joy got the cease and desist from the sun? Y'all remember that? That's pretty funny. Yep, she had to tell everybody about it. She had to let everybody know all about it. But so she shares that uh, the sun finds the shins. Oh my goodness gracious, guys. The sun, the shins have been found. You know, oh goodness. Don't, don't you know that Katie Joy went on a, on a little path to where she couldn't find the shins and she had to dig really deep to find a, a picture of Robert's shin? Yeah, she, she, she did. She had to dig, dig so deep, try to find one. She found one and she was like, yeah. Yeah, I found this picture. I'm gonna share it to, for everybody. Everybody needs to know what he looks like. So now then, the sun done found him. So she captions this, leave it to the sun to find the shins. Yeah, gotta got give the sun some credit, don't you, Katie Joy? Gotta give the sun some credit. Y you can't say anything about, uh, uh, you know, you're the one that that uh, did uh, that found them and you're the one that was going looking for them and all that. You gotta give the sun some credit, don't you, Katie Joy? Okay, so she said, this, uh, this story isn't going away anytime soon now that the sun is involved. They are ruthless, mind blown. They are ruthless, ruthless to you because they sent you a cease and desist from when you were covering the Duggar, Duggar trial and using all their information and uh, using their pictures and stuff. So yeah, they, they got you. And guys, like I said, everything in here is my opinion. If I'm wrong on something, y'all just let me know. But she continues on, Hannah Shin is described to me by sources as ruthless, controlling, and worse than Catherine. Catherine was formerly a leader of the church that left the church after Robert's alleged inappropriate as usual behavior was revealed. And of course, she had to tag a bunch of people. So guys, to me, this is all getting kind of fun. This is all, I can't even walk. This is all getting kind of funny. It really is. It's kind of like I'm following this little trail that, you know, Katie Joy is creating. And you know Katie Joy wants credit for every single bit of this. You know she does. You know she wants credit for getting the, getting the story out there. And that's something that Katie Joy does. But when Katie Joy harps on a story, she wants to make sure that it's her that gets the breaking news. You know, because she'll, she'll, she'll share documents. And they can be just, you know, documents from court cases or whatever she will watermark them suckers to say without a crystal ball she makes sure that if you're going to use her stuff you are going to use her stuff with everybody knowing it's her stuff nope you, you don't get to take credit for her stuff whatsoever at all she's going to make sure you don't take credit for her stuff so she wants to put a watermark on everything now guys i ain't smart enough to do that 
and I don't look up paperwork. So, uh, yeah, yeah, nobody can ask me about that. Alrighty, but, uh, so I want to show y'all something really fast. First, I'm out here with the horses, but I want to show y'all something real fast. Because Miranda Derrick didn't set quiet. No, 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 no. Miranda Derrick did not set quiet whatsoever at all. Miranda Derrick is letting people know. No, 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 no. So I want to put this clip in there of Miranda Derrick for you so y'all get to hear her side of all of this. Hey, you guys, just hopping back on here. I've been seeing a lot of things being talked about as facts here on social media. Um, and a lot of people who, I'm not going to mention any names, but have created this narrative of my life just to make money off of me. And like I've said before, I really don't want to make these things public and share these things on social media, but I'm being forced to speak my truth. So let's go. I know a lot of you really don't care about the drama and just see right through all the craziness, which is so amazing. Um, but yeah, there's also a lot of you who have been fake reporting and every little thing I say or do is being analyzed and reviewed under a microscope. So I'm here to report the truth and just dive in. So I'm gonna be talking about a couple things um, that I've mentioned in my previous video. For those of you who are just tuning in and new to the page, welcome. I wrote some dates down, so I'm gonna be reading off a script for a second. Ah, don't freak out. Just gotta laugh at some of these things. January 18th, 2021. I did not cut off all ties with my family. I moved in with James and I told Melanie I wanted to continue doing Wilking Sisters. January 21st, 2021, my parents flew down from Michigan to try to convince me to go to Michigan after I told them my decision. My dad blocked me in with his car. If you go to my first, the very first statement I wrote, um, I speak more about that whole event. In February, 2021, Mel and I continued to talk. Again, saying that I've cut off all communication is a lie. So yeah, I told Melanie that I just needed a break from Wilking Sisters. During that time, there was a lot of things happening between my family and I, disagreements, my grandpa just died, I just moved in with James. So there was a lot of stuff happening, a lot of things that were new to all of us. So I just said like, hey, I need to take a couple weeks just for me to collect my thoughts, regroup, so that we can move forward with new terms. But I would love to continue working with you. Just a little backstory on our Wilking Sisters brand. We created videos seven days a week for four years straight. So it was every day, boom, boom, boom. That was our job. And we were so used to just like staying busy. So we were hustling. A little background on Melanie and my working relationship. Melanie was very dominant. She controlled a lot of the brand deals we did. She controlled, you know, our time, our schedule, you know, who we were collabing with. She would schedule that time, um, things like that. And she was really good at it. So I just, I let that happen. So I was getting tired of how things were going. And that's when I said, hey, give me a couple weeks just to collect my thoughts. And I would like to move forward just on new terms. I wrote a list of the terms, again, reading off of this, but I wanted it to be a 50-50 partnership. I wanted both of us to have a say in what brand deals, promos we do. I wanted control over my schedule, so I asked her not to schedule anything without my consent. I wanted to reduce days to like three to four days a week instead of seven days a week, because like I mentioned in my previous video, I was getting into singing a little bit more, so I wanted to pursue singing, as well as I just moved in with James, so I wanted to pursue my life with James as well. So, she completely ignored everything I said, she decided to schedule us for more brand deals without letting me know. She said that I left her stranded with other brand deals that we did. I didn't get paid for the brand deals that we did when we were together. And honestly, that's the reason why I was just overworking together as Wilking Sisters, because if it's not gonna be an equal partnership, I don't wanna be your employee. I wanna be your partner in this business. I was also logged out of our TikTok account completely. I had no access to it. So I'm thinking if I have no access to our account, what more do we have to talk about? Because you have now taken over. And so I, I'm not part of this partnership anymore. You've logged me out completely, so I'm moving on. 
So that's when I told Melanie on February 9th, 2021, that I was moving on and I'm not gonna do Wilking Sisters anymore. Obviously she didn't take that very well. Um, and she asked if she could put out a statement on our Wilking Sisters page. Hey everyone, so many of you have noticed that Miranda and I have not been in videos together lately. And I've been getting a lot of messages asking where she's at, what's going on, all of that. So I'm here to let you know that Miranda has chosen to pursue some other opportunities at this time and just take a little break from the Wilking Sisters brand. I will still be here making videos. My goal is to always put a smile on your face. And you know, sometimes you just need a little change. And Miranda's still my best friend. I love her so much. I will always support her. And I just hope that I can have all of your support on this new journey. Love you guys. Mwah. Bye. She, she ran it by me, what she was going to say um, in this video. I just said, yes, that sounds great. So she posted this video. And it was basically just saying that Miranda is taking some time off. Obviously, she didn't want to tell our followers that I've stopped looking sisters completely and moved on. So that was her statement. So she posted that statement on, I'm going to check my notes so I don't forget. She posted it March 11th, 2021. So she posted it, it was up for a while. And then just recently, I posted a statement with a bunch of different dates proving that I have met up, I have spoken to, I've communicated with my family. And when that video was posted, I noticed that her statement video was taken down. So there's just a lot, <laughs> just a lot going on, but that's pretty much all I wanted to touch base on today. Um, just share what was on my heart and the truth coming from me, the person who actually went through all of this. So yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm gonna chat with you guys some more, share some more information. Thank you guys for everything. I love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Look at that. Got to get out here and brush them this morning. It, it takes all of a day for them to get all woolly and hairy on me and the, their winter coats start falling out. And over there, I'm, I'm going to do something real fast. Yes, I'm off subject. I'm off topic. But no, I'm not done. I'm not done whatsoever at all. I still got something to say. But this beauty right here, don't you dare. No, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. This beauty right here, okay? I don't even know if y'all can see her. Hey, hey, you. That is my hussy. And when she does not want me to touch her, I don't touch her. When she wants me to touch her, she will come to me and let me know. It's okay for you to touch me today, mama, but you're not gonna touch me any other time. And that's just the way she is. And you wanna know something, I love her for every single bit of it. I really, really do. I do. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Oh, what is your deal today? He's like, nope, I don't want the camera. But guys, yeah, I'm out here with them. They're gro They're grazing. They, they are. Okay. So, y'all heard Miranda's side of things, right? <sighs> so, I'm sitting here and I'm like, okay, so now this has already been covered by all these people. I'm just sitting here going, okay, so now then we got this done. And long and behold, let me tell you something else. Without a crystal ball has to post the shin, the shins, Bentley. Yup, they got a Bentley. Can you believe that? Can, can you believe that? She says, as we reported first, she, she did it first, guys. She did it first, 100% the shins drive a bentley robert shin barely works and lives off the work of his cult followers wonder who robert took money from to buy the bentley is isn't stealing a sin photo grabbed by jeff rayner coleman rayner for the u.s sun yeah she has to give the sun credit guys she's got to give the, the sun credit because uh like i said one time before yeah she uh got herself in trouble with the sun for using their stuff but alrighty, guys I'm out here with all of them and I have shared quite a bit with you. Like I said, sorry for the length of the video. I just had uh, had some stuff to say and, and how I felt. But uh, Jordan is on his way out here. Uh, yeah, y'all can see him. He's on his way out here and uh, he wants to do a video or two with me at some point. And we're, we're going to get him back on, on, on camera with us. We are. But for the most part, look at him walking up to that horse like his nun. Look at that. 
And they being they look they being little butts to me today. Yeah, yeah, they are. They are. They're just like nope, not today. But yeah, they're out here, and we're just having a good old time. But alrighty, guys, that is my spew for the day. And if you made it all the way to the end, I appreciate it 100%. Like I said, I am not going to go read all these little articles that without a crystal ball post. I am not going to go and give her any kind of credit whatsoever at all. I'm pretty much, honestly, I'm going to ignore the stuff. I'm going to ignore it because the more attention you give Katie Joy to her getting her story out there or this story going global and this, that, and other, other you know, she's going to think she's succeeded in something. She is. She's going to think she's succeeded in something. So why even give her the, why even do that? Just, just ignore. Y'all, just, just, just pretend like it didn't even happen. That's the way you got to do it. I mean, that's the way I do it. I, you ain't got to do it that way, but, you know, th that's the way I do it. So, alrighty, guys. I'm going to continue doing my little uh, daily thing here. Look at, all, look at all them boogers running up there. Can y'all see that? Y'all probably can't, but I got the glare. Look at them. Look at all them boogers. They're just like, I want to go somewhere else now. That's what I want to do. Well, they just want to go somewhere else. And that's just 100% just fine if that's what they want to do. But I walked all the way out to the pasture to see them. And the, they just... Look at them. Aren't they so pretty? I love it when they run. Or they're not running. They're just kind of trotting along. But aren't they so pretty? Yeah, I don't know how well you can see them. But, alrighty guys, I'm going to go up front with them because that, that's what they want because <laughs> you know they, they don't want me out here in the pasture that's pretty obvious but guys i hope that y'all have a wonderful day night weekend holiday year whenever you might be watching this and i hope you remember to smile today or you make somebody else smile because you know what it's worth it it really is and like i said once again sorry i think it got a little long and i got a little scatterbrain but there's a gist of what i figured out thus far Alrighty, guys y'all have a good one for me bye